Flooding costs Canada millions of dollars each year, and it's getting worse. One of the leading experts on the topic is Blair Feltmate, and he's trying to get the country to adapt, and quickly. Feltmate is featured in a new City TV documentary, The Fight for Tomorrow, about the climate crisis in Canada. Flood risk maps in Canada are decades outdated. There is no city that is disproportionately off the charts as being overly prepared, and there is none that's really doing a terrible job. Most cities are somewhere in the zone of mediocrity in preparing for flood risk. Blair Feltmate is trying to bring them up to speed. If people are hit with uh, just one flood, very often they think this is just a one-off. This is an anomaly. You know, there's my one in a hundred year flood. But when they get hit with two major floods within a short period of time, and they've never seen any, you know, in a particular area, all of a sudden they'll go, maybe something different is really going on. Feltmate and his team focus on climate adaptation, putting measures in place so cities and communities are prepared. So when the big storms do hit, there's no devastation. But most often, lower income communities are hit hardest. The stress that they realize due to climate change and extreme weather risk is literally off the charts because you've got people that are really living perhaps, you know, month to month. If those individuals are hit by a flood or a fire event, it can be a devastating a, a, a event in their life. Very, very difficult to recover from. A basement flood on average costs around $43,000. And for Feltmate, educating homeowners on how to prevent the damage is where to start. The problem we have here is that this pipe has bent and now it's directing water towards the foundation of the house. And we want to get that water away from the foundation of the house so it doesn't end up in the basement. And that could be the difference between having a flooded basement and not having a flooded basement. These leaves, these twigs and so forth, they, they build up in the east trough. Uh, if they build up too much in the east trough, they'll block the water from flowing out of the system. If your home has a sump pump, make sure it's not covered. And if there's a backup, that the battery is working water could come into this basement and potentially flow into the sump well. And what I'm doing is pouring water in there to uh, fill it up and then here the sub pumps kick in and pump the water outside. And I want to make sure that they're working because I don't want to find out that these things don't work when I have three feet of sewer water in my basement. While education and these simple tasks are a good place to start, there's much work to be done if Canada wants to truly adapt nationally to the current climate. I sort of liken it to the equivalent of you're in a small compact car heading down the road in a certain direction with a goal in mind. So that's all good. However, if you look in your rear view mirror and see a large tractor trailer coming up behind you at twice your speed, going in the right direction isn't good enough. You've got to speed up. And right now, climate change is the tractor trailer. Flooding is just one of the ways the climate crisis is impacting Canadians. In the fight for tomorrow, I'll introduce you to eight people from across the country, including Feltmate, who are trying to change the course of our future. The documentary airs right here on City TV tomorrow, Tuesday, March 30th. Megan Robinson, City News.